Hello everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Destiny video. Today we're looking at my Admiral Akbar and Padme mill deck. So our location is the Command Center. Uh, claim, each opponent discards the top two cards of their deck. So if you claim it, they have to mill two cards. We're, um, here's Admiral Akbar. We're running two Akbar for 14 points out of our 30 point total. He has nine health, he has one range damage, two focus, one discard, one resource, another resource, and a blank. Out, and after um, your opponent plays or discards the last card from their hand, they choose and deal two damage to one of their characters. So hopefully that'll be going off um, very often with this deck because Ad Akbar and Padme have a lot of ways to, to mill. So hopefully they'll be milling through their hand and taking damage due to Akbar's ability. We're running two Akbar, so we have also have two Padme dice for 14 points. So we have 28 points out of our 30 points. Um, so he, she has two focus, one discard, one resource, two specials, and a blank. And special is dis discard the top card of an opponent's deck or spend one resource to discard the top two cards of an opponent's deck. Normally mill, the way discard works normally is it's out of hand. Padme allows, them to, um, allows you to discard off of their deck as well. She also has the one side of her die that does discard out of hand, too. We're going to move into our upgrades. So we have one comlink, cost two, has one focus, another one focus, one shield, one resource, plus one resource in a blank. And after you play this upgrade, you may, may re-roll any number of your dice or any number of an opponent's dice. So if your opponent's rolled really well, you play comlink and re-roll their dice, or if your dice are all not very good, you can re-roll yours. Running one comlink... We have two cutting, so it costs two. Um, has and it goes on yellow characters only. Has one focus, one disrupt, one um, discard, one resource, a special in the blank, and the special is resolve a special ability on another card in play as if it were your card. So you can use your opponent's specials against them. You can trigger specials on like Padme, for example, with this, and so on. So two cutting. Have two data pad cost one as a resource a plus one resource another plus one resource a special and two blanks and the special is turn one of your dice to a side not showing damage uh, ranged or melee so you can use the special on this to um, turn Padme to her special side and then since you're still resolving specials you can then resolve her special to discard a card off of that deck there's also other dice in here that you can um, get specials off of by using this. So you can, if you rolled cutting and then you use a special on data pad, you can turn cutting to a special side and then resolve that. You have one diplomatic immunity, cost four. It has two focus, one shield, two shield, three shield, four shield, and two disrupt. And the shields from this die can be given to any of your characters distributed as you wish. Normally when you resolve shields, if you roll, resolve a die that has two shields on it, usually it's only two shields on one character. Um, Diplomatic Immunity, the die for that, you can use the shields on it to go between different characters. So if you roll the four shield side, you can put two on Akbar, two on Padme, three on Akbar, one on Padme, and so on. So the shields from this can be distributed in any way that you want. One of that, we are running two Scout, cost one, has one focus, two Disrupt for the cost of one resource, one resource, two specials in the blank, and the special is look at an opponent's hand and discard the cheapest card from it, and you choose in the case of a tie. So not only are you getting to see what cards your opponent has in your hand, but you're also able to, re, um, to discard the cheapest one from there as well. So you get the advantage of seeing their hand, plus you get to discard something. You have one second chance, cost three, yellow characters only. Uh, before the attach attached character will be defeated, instead heal 5 damage from it and discard this upgrade from play. So this can only go on Padme, but this will help keep Padme alive a little bit longer, and possibly long enough for you to completely mill, mill your opponent out. And finally, we have 2 Thermal Detonator. Cost 3, uh, you have to spot a yellow character to be able to play it, so you don't have to attach it to a yellow character, but you have to have a yet ca character still alive to basically play this, so Padme can't be defeated to use it. Um, it has one discard, two discard, one resource, a special, a special at the cost of one resource and a blank, and the special is deal three damage to each of an opponent's characters, then discard this upgrade from play. 
mainly you're going to want to be using this for the discard sides, not the special side. I mean, if your character, if your opponent's characters only have three health left, and like they don't have shields or anything like that, yeah, you can use a special to to, def to defeat them. But mostly you're going to want to use focus and things like that to change this die to be the discard side, so you can get more mill out of it. And it has some has two sides for discard. It has a couple supports. So we have one Millennium Falcon. It costs five, so it's fairly expensive. It has three range damage, four range damage, two focus, three discard, two resources, a special. And the special is you can play in a yellow event from your discard pile or hand for free. Mostly using this for the three discard side. So even if I don't get that roll initially, I could use some of the other dice I have to focus into the three discard side on the Falcon. And... And last support we have, we have one outpost, cost two, has one focus, one disrupt, two disrupt, one shield, a special, and a blank. And the special is resolve the battlefield ability as if you had just claimed it. So if you're playing on the command center and you roll the special on this, you can resolve the special, have your opponent's mill, or your opponent mill two cards, because the command center's ability states each opponent discards the top two cards of their deck. And then you can just go back and actually claim the battlefield as well, like on a future action, and essentially have them mill four cards from the battlefield effect if you use the special on Outpost. So it's a nice way to get the battlefield effect to trigger without actually claiming it. Into our events, I have one block, cost two, remove all of an opponent's dice showing melee damage. I have two commando raid, cost one, resolve one of your red dice showing discard, Increasing its value by two, then draw a card. So you're really going to only be able to resolve this on Akbar, but it's sort of Akbar has his one discard side showing. You can use Commando Raid, increase that to three, have them discard three cards, and then you also get a draw card. So this could be good, a good way to get his ability to trigger, especially if they only have three cards in hand. Commando Raid, they discard three, and then they take two damage from Akbar. We have two defensive position. This costs one. Play only if you control the battlefield. And remove all of an opponent's dice showing a value of 2 or higher. So if they roll really well, let's say they roll a lot of 2s, maybe some 3s, and you control the battlefield, you pay 1, all those dice get removed. It's a very nice dice control card. We're running 2 of that. We're running 2 dodge. Now I'm, I'm doing 2 dodge instead of instead of 2 block and 2 dodge. I'm doing 1 block and 2 dodge. Um, I figure I'm going to be playing more against range damage aggro decks, so I figured two dodge would be better than um, just doing either one of each or two on two blocks so I can get some other stuff in the deck. But it removes all that opponent's dice showing range damage. So they roll really well, well with range damage, you just dodge it, they remove all those dice. We have one draw attention, cost zero. And move up to two damage from one of your characters to another one of your characters and ignore shields. So it doesn't take off shields. It goes through shields. But um, you're going to want to probably keep Padme alive because she has access to, um, if she's not alive, you won't be able to play your thermal detonators or your cuttings or anything like that. So you're probably going to, depending on who they target, you could um, mitigate some of that damage by moving damage between characters. We have two dug in, cost one. Play only if you control the battlefield, and you give three shields to your characters distributed as you wish. This will just help give Akbar and Padme some more survivability. Two Electroshock, just cost one. You have to spot a yellow character, so Padme has to be alive to use it. And you can remove a die showing a value of two or lower. One of the best dice removal cards in the game is it only costs one. You don't have to roll a die or anything like that. You don't have to have, it doesn't count your um, readied characters like some of the other cards do. But like it doesn't like flank. You need to have more ready characters than your opponent, and so on. But you just spot a yellow character, and then if they have um, a combo set up with let's say two range damage and a plus two range damage, you remove that two normal damage, making the other dice useless. That's electroshock, one of the best cards in the game. We're running two of it. We have two field medic, just cost one. Remove two damage from a character, so obviously more survivability between Akbar and Padme. We have two hit and run, cost zero. It has ambush, so you're gonna take a second action after you play it. Activate one of your one of your red characters. So play this, you get a rollout Akbar, and then immediately do another action. So if you 
roll that Akbar onto his discard side, you had Commando Raid in your hand, you can then play that and have them mill three. Or you can just uh, resolve some focus or any other thing you any other thing you want. That's hit and run. And we have one scramble. Cost zero, just spot a yellow character. So Padme has to be allowed to, to use this. And then re-roll all of the opponent's dice. If they have a ton of damage, if they've focused into a lot of damage and whatnot, you just play scramble uh, for zero. You don't have to pay any resources on it. They re-roll all their dice, and hopefully they, re they re-roll worse than what they had already out. This could get rid of a lot of damage. It could get rid of some stuff that they could be like used against you. And then it's going to make it um, harder for them to do what they want to do unless they want to unless they're willing to discard stuff to re-roll and things like that. So that is my Akbar and Padme mill deck. Let me know what you think of it. I'll post the deck list um, in the description below. Until next time, I want to thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and take care.